Okay, so uh, why don't you take us away with the uh, one one hundredth high grades? Well, the one one hundredth no slash high grades. We've got four of them. We have the ale, the sword, and the launcher, as with any strike release. These, I have not built them specifically, but I have built the 1 100th no grade dual Gundam, which uses a lot of the same parts. The problems are going to be limited posability. You get, I think, a 90 degree bend out of the knees. You also get a 90 to maybe a 135 out of the elbows. They're just clunky, bad proportions, and they have hideous clown feet. While they are quote unquote anime accurate, they are not the best looking thing out there. Yeah. And the final no grade is actually called the Gale Strike, and this is from a manga series called Seed Destiny versus Astray, I believe. Because I own one of the one of the kids from the series. It's actually the Vent Savior. Oh really? All five of, yeah, all five of the suits have a weather themed name. You have the Gale Strike. You have the Vent Savior. You have the Hail. Uh, Let's see, the Hail Providence, I mean, no, the Hail Buster, Nyx Providence, and Regen Duel, and Nebula Blitz. In addition to that, Those Gale is kind of a pun on ale. Yeah, because it uses the exact same parts for the ale, but instead of being a pack, it's like the booster, po the booster pods are the shoulders, and you've got the shield is actually on the back now. Moving on. Now we'll get into the old Master Grades, which is like 1.0 version. The first of these, just again, the typical Ale Strike, came out in 2004. I've built this exact kit. The only difference between the one that you'll probably have the screenshot for and the one that I've built is mine came in a black and white box because it was a special edition that I bought from Hobby Wave, and I think they've actually still got it. The only thing is it just comes with a bazooka that he... The, that Kira used in the water episodes. And that's the only yeah, difference? Just a bazooka? Yeah, it comes with a bazooka, and you still get the AL pack, you still get the display stand, which looks like a uh, mobile suit catapult, and you still get a great range of posability for a 2004 Master Grade. Uh, a couple big differences. The knee, for instance, on the remastered kits, there's a gear and piston that actually connects the knee to the shin. That does not exist in the 1.0 frames. Oh, really? Really. And then in the shoulders, the 1.0 strikes, you actually, uh, those are held together by a screw. Oh, I remember that. The old master grades would sometimes use screws to hold together some of the parts. Yeah, and the strike, the strike frame did that in the shoulder joints. Right, and didn't it have, like, ball-joint hips or something, so it didn't have much outward movement, or am I thinking of something else? No, you're correct. It had the typical, just, uh, small-length pegs with huge, with balls on the end of them, and just pop the thigh. If you want to see a reference on that kind of posability, just look at my Rick Diaz video that I put, that I just put up a day or two ago. Right. Yeah, that had some, that had some pretty mediocre posability in that part. Next up, we've got the Strike Rouge, which is, you know, just a color swap. It's a red, it's a powder pink and a pink Strike. Still comes with an ale pack, but everything that would be white is a powder pink. Everything that would be red, save for the ale pack, would be a darker pink. And then you get a, um, there's different coloring on the shield. Instead of being white, red, and yellow, it's a white shield with a black uh, accent piece and then red trim. Everything else, though, is an exact carbon copy of the Ale Strike. Now, the Strike IWSP is where we start to get really interesting because while it is the exact same frame as the Ale Strike, it's a monstrously different backpack and shield. Let me pull up an image here. The backpack has doubled in size. It carries two swords. You have two over-the-shoulder, like, rail guns, and then you have two huge beam cannons. It was supposed to be kind of an all-inclusive combo of ale, launcher, and sword. The only beam weapon actually on the kit 
is a beam boomerang that is in the new shield, which houses a six-barrel Gatling gun. Yeah, that's have... got to be my favorite of the, uh, I, that has to be my favorite of the striker packs of the IWSP. It's just got so much just weaponry crammed into one pack. Yeah. Uh, so the next one we're going to talk about is probably a close second for just brute strength, and that's the Strike Noir, which is from the original net animation Gundam Seed Stargazer. It's basically a black-accented strike with a slightly redesigned chest and a redesigned faceplate. But the striker pack is what makes this Gundam what it is, because the it's a flight pack. It has two huge swords with beam edges. It has rail guns. And the box art shows the Strike Noir dual wielding because it comes with either... It comes with five handheld weapons, two beam pistols that are actually stored on the hips instead of the uh, typical knives that you would get on a strike or a strike rouge. And then you get two of the beam rifles with grenade launchers, like what the duel used, and then you get just the typical strike beam rifle. And this is also the only strike in the entire line that does not have a shield. Really? Really. That's pretty interesting. Now, I have actually half-cousin to the Strike Noir, the Strike E, IWSP. It's basically the Strike Noir in the Strike's colors, but you still get the IWSP pack and the shield. And there really is no other difference. It's just your typical red, red, blue, and white slash gray paint scheme. But that's the main difference, and let me pull the list back up. So the last one of the original Master Grades is the Launcher Sword Strike. This is just another strike, exactly the same as the Ale, but you get the Launcher and the Sword Packs. Now, when we were talking about the real grade, this is one of the issues that I had, because say you want to, you want to have all three packs, you're going to have three packs, but you're going to have two Gundams. So, it just see an extra suit hanging around for no odd reason. And that would be a great opportunity to use a, a Master Grade Sky Grasper, but unfortunately the, mas the uh, Sky Grasper is not available as a Master Grade. No, it is only available in real or perfect. Yes, that's kind of a shame. Maybe we'll get one, I don't know. I don't know how, the, how Bandai is really doing with, you know, add-on pack Master Grade sales. Poking... <laughs> Yes, I'm looking at you, Universe Booster. Mm. But, before I get to that, now we enter the Strike 2.0, or the remaster frames. And I love these suits. We've got the Ale Strike. I've got that when it came out. I also sprung, sprung a little bit for the um, Premium Bandai Online exclusive high-def color launcher sword, uh, sword packs. They actually sold the... They recolored the original launcher and sword packs and then sold them as a hobby shop online exclusive because the uh, Ale Strike RM comes with the extra four batteries to make the perfect. Yes, so it's like they almost kind of want you to use it with the old launcher sword strike. You can do that. I mean, the shoulders are 100% compatible. The only reason I picked it up as the Hobby Shop Online exclusive is, once again, I didn't want a spare strike just sitting around doing nothing. Now we come to the... And by the way, um, I feel I should mention that there are actually a, uh, quite a few P-Bondi strikes. I just couldn't find any solid information on them, so that Launcher Sword one's probably going to be one of the only ones for me talking about here. Yeah, just the pack. But, I mean, once, once a Hobby Shop online exclusive is out of stock that's it nine times out of ten they do not reprint it there have been a few that have been reprinted but this uh launcher sword pack is not one of those yeah your best bet would be something like place like mandarake or yahoo japan and just try to f track down on the japanese secondary market which can be rather difficult yeah because ebay will scalp you oh yeah definitely but moving on, next we come to the Master Grade Strike Rouge Autori, or Phoenix Pack. This is a bit of a 
problem child, to say the least. It is the Strike RM frame, which is very good. The pack is a monster. They basically traded out the IWSP for this, because this, this is what they put on the Strike Rouge in the Destiny remaster. We have a couple glaring issues with this suit. And they all have to revolve around the backpack, sadly. Now, if you look at the, at the backpack by itself, it's pretty easy to see that this was a test prototype for the full package uh, booster. If you look at the two of them side by side. See, I was about to mention that it looks like um, that it looks like the uh, build booster from Build Fighters. Yeah, this was kind of a dry run for that. From what I've seen in reviews that I've watched of this, the cannons that swing under. They like to pop off their hinges a lot. The, but the biggest glaring feature out of all of it, all the yellow on that pack, all the yellow on the missile and on the wings, it is peel-and-place stickers. It is not plastic. Wow. I mean, I know about the wing stripes, and that's kind of understandable because they're pretty small details, but you think they could have gotten the missile details in plastic. No, the missiles and whatever the larger pods, tanks, bombs, whatever you want to call them, Whatever they are, all of those are solid white. Wow. If you look at a painted picture and you see the black tips or the red stripe or the yellow stripe, the missiles are all solid white. They don't even give you yellow stripes for the missiles. You do get the red stripe for the uh, secondary, whatever the larger tanks are, but yeah. And I actually want to call shenanigans on that. Uh, the fact they had to do stickers for the uh, wings because... There's another Master Grade out there that I've built where they staggered colors perfectly in wings, and it's the Infinite Justice. Oh, really? Yeah, because the Infinite Justice has, um, I've got my kit around here somewhere, but it's basically one color, then a thinner piece of another color, then just a little cap on the end of the wing. So looking at how they did that wing, I call shenanigans on the fact that they couldn't make an intermediary yellow piece for all of these wings. Although, in Bondi's defense, the Infinite Justice does have fairly thick wings. And these wings, are, from what I understand, are fairly thick, too. It's not like they couldn't just make a cap piece that's snugged up inside the black wingtip. That is true. Although, um, one thing I want to ask you about the uh, Strike RM, just the basic Ale Strike one, is something that I've seen a couple of viewers mention. Um, how sturdy are the wings? The wings themselves are fairly sturdy. It's the flaps that can be loose. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. Cause it's so cool that it has like the moving flaps, but I've seen reviews where they show that it's just there's really not a lot holding them together. No, it really is just two pegs, and if you fiddle with the wings too much, they can drop. Hmm. But still, overall, I mean, it's a model kit, display piece kind of thing, so that's not too bad, too big an issue. Yeah. But moving on to what I actually think is the best version of the Strike RM frame, and that's the Build Strike. And I've got both the Build Strike full package and the Universe Booster. I've actually got mine sitting almost beside me. It's in full package form, because I like the Universe, the, uh, build booster more than I do the universe booster. They did a lot of things right, and they did a lot of things wrong with this with this kit. But it all kind of falls on that universe booster because, you know how the um, star build strike, which you use the universe booster to make, you know how the shield has that opening clamp, well, opening collector, and then the fuel pump that plugs into the rifle. Yeah, it's like that's a sort of charged up finisher attack because it plugs the hose from the uh, shield into the rifle and it fires up back all the energy that was thrown at it by the other mobile suit. Yeah, to, you, but to plug that uh, fuel hose in, you've actually got to fully disassemble the shield. Yes, yeah, so I remember seeing uh, Robert 184's review of that. It looked like it was a pretty scary process to get that apart. Yeah, that's why I just left mine as the normal strike. If I ever do to put it as the... Star build, I'm not going to do that swap out. I'm just going to leave the little nub at the end, which looks like a gun barrel, and I'll just put the collector up on top. But I can also say that the Universe Booster is a very fragile kit. If you're looking at it, there's actually two fins that kind of come up right 
beside the uh, nose piece and the canopy. I was showing it to a buddy of mine. He picked it up and set it back down, and the plastic for those, one of those actually broke. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a hideous connection. It's literally two depressions that little round nubs plug into, one on the top, one on the bottom. That's that's not a very good connection at all, and it's a shame because it's such a really elegant-looking kit when it's got all the wings unfurled, but I've seen reviews of that, and they don't look sturdy at all. No, I mean, the personally, I am get, just going to leave mine with the build booster. And the only other gripe that a lot of people have about the build strike comes from the add-on weapons, like the beam cannon extension you plug over the pistol or the rifle for the star build strike and it's the green pieces that those are all foil seals yep stickers once again i actually didn't use those i used my green gundam marker and it came out it actually came out really nice yeah it's a lot, really easy to paint in those details that are indented like that because you have a good clean line to follow mm -hmm. yeah you do but, I mean, as far as the head sculpt, as far as the augmented shoulders, and the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can't think right now, but the changed up side skirts, yeah, I actually prefer the Build Strike full package over the Ale Strike and the Strike Rouge Autorium. I have to agree with you. Um, I don't personally own any of the Mastery Aid Strikes, but that's definitely the one at the top of the list for me because it's just... It just does so much right, and it just looks really cool. And I'm a big Build Fighters fan, so that's another part of it. I'm a big Build Fighters fan, too. That's why I'm also getting the Renashita when that comes out. Mmm, that thing looks pretty sweet. But uh, that's it for the Master Grades. But now let's move on to the 160. We've got, we've got at least one 160 no grade, which I'm not that familiar with at all. And then we've got the perfect grade. Right, the uh, 160th no grade, um, from what I've seen, it's similar to those 148th scale mega size kits of like the RX-78 and the Zaku. Um, it has no striker pack of any kind, it just has the shield and rifle. And then there's another one called like the striker weapon set or something that is basically a 160th scale no grade perfect strike. Minus the batteries, of course. Yeah, minus the batteries, because this is before the uh, perfect strike was introduced in Gundam Seed Remaster. Yeah. Here's a, an interesting little bit of trivia, though, for you. The Perfect Strike actually did exist before the High Def Remaster, just in a slightly different guise. Really? It's the Destiny Gundam. Oh, because it has the uh, railgun and the sword at the same time, and it has the red wings. Right. I see the connection. That's just a little tidbit of information that I found in, in a lot of my research that the they had basically had the design kind of left over but they didn't want to bring it into Destiny because they were supposed to be doing all new stuff so they just turned it into the Destiny Gundam. Just reuse the design and the Destiny is already mostly kind of a reuse of the Freedom anyway so I wouldn't say it's a uh, Freedom because it's <sighs> It's hard to say. I mean, Destiny has so many darn questions to it, but we'll save that for another. We'll save that for another video. Yeah, that'll be another time. Anyway, uh, moving on to the perfect grade. Uh, Dan, you want to explain this one? Well, we've got uh, three perfect grade kits. We've got the Strike, which just comes as the Bear Strike Gundam. I believe it comes with its beam rifle, its shield, and the two armored Schneider knives. And it also comes with uh, the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like this big sword that looks like Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy, kind of. Like this big, ragged chrome sword. Yeah, the, it's basically a two-handed buster sword. Yes, like, that. Yeah, that's just, um, that's non-canon. Oh, I actually forgot to mention that, that's, that, that uh, buster sword actually comes with the Strike E Master Grade. Oh, does it? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Right. But the um, the other perfect grades we've got are the Sky Grasper, which comes with only the Ale Pack. That's how you get the Ale Pack for a perfect grade Strike Gundam. Yeah, it's a shame that with the biggest, most expensive version of the Strike, they couldn't have thrown in its most iconic pack with the base release. Uh, 
I don't know why they did it that way. And then the other one, the one that's left, is the Strike Rouge, and that comes with the Rouge's Ale Pack. And does it also um, include, like, a recolored Sky Grasper or just the Ale Pack? It's just the packet. The only... The Perfect Great Sky Grasper stands alone. Okay. It does not... It does not come with, like, the Rouge. Right. Now, I told you this before we started the video. In a sense, I've built the frame of this suit because I've got the Perfect Grade Astray Red frame. And the frame was just an amazingly fun build. Oh, really? Yeah, I, except for different arms. And that... It is the exact same internal frame. I've read that that frame is used for the Perfect Grade Strike. And that really surprises me because... That surprised me because um, you'd think that since so much of the frame of the Astray is exposed and it's such a, almost really uh, the most iconic frame in that sense because it's such an integral part of the external design of the kit that they would have redesigned a new frame for it. It's kind of surprising they reused the Strike one. Well, this is going to get you even more. Apparently a lot of the internals for the Strike Perfect Grade frame are used in the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom. Wow, that's cool. Now, don't... W Attention, YouTube. Do not 100% quote me on this. I just remembered reading it a little bit in some of my research because I was considering trying to trying to actually get a Perfect Grade Strike Freedom after I built my Perfect Grade Red Frame, but I came across something that said that a lot of the internal frame is from the Perfect Grade Strike. Right. And isn't the Perfect Grade Strike a moderately old kit? It's like early 2000s, right? I would say it's probably 2005, 2006. Give me one minute here. But yeah, I would say 2005, 2006. Yeah, so it's and not super year. old, but it's not like brand new. No. But as far as knowledge of strikes and talking about all the different ones, that's about everything that I can... That's about all I can offer. Yeah, I think we've pretty much exhausted it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave us likes, subscribe to both of us, leave us comments. We both love reading them. I hope you guys have yourselves a great day and or night, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Me too. See ya.